These tigonauts are returning after six months in orbit. Long exposure outside after landing would harm their health. It's especially important for them to readapt to gravity in the first few hours back on Earth. If this is done properly, it will help them quickly recover. Otherwise, the recovery will take a long time. This is essential. First, will improve the medical monitoring and support facilities and then the related procedures at the site. To summarize, we have prepared an ambulance and, as a backup, an inflatable tent, and a helicopter as a final guarantee. The descent of each Tychonaut from the capsule will be completed in two minutes. They will then be sending to the medical monitoring and support facility. Compared with China's previous crewed space missions, what's special about the Shenzhou 13 mission? And what challenges have been posed to the return of the spaceship? The spacecraft will return only after orbiting the Earth five times. This has some special features from the perspective of space search and rescue. First, it's very new and we must be very careful. Second, the control over the return is very complicated and needs very close coordination among many systems and units on Earth and between them and the capsule. A tiny error would result in a wide divergence. Third, the timing of the flight control is really special. We plan to separate the spacecraft from the space station in the early morning of April 16. So the main part of the flight control will take place from midnight to 5 a.m. This new and quick return needs a very quick response. For this, besides personnel deployed at the Dongfeng landing site, there are also personnel in other possible areas for search and rescue equipment. We mainly use helicopters, and we can also use fixed-wing aircraft because they can fly high and fast. And then there is the important deployment of vehicles on the ground. What's the major innovation of the search and rescue process of Shenzhou 13? We've made a lot of technical upgrades from the return mission of the Shenzhou 12. During the half year from the end of the Shenzhou 12 mission until the start of the Shenzhou 13 mission, we invented 18 pieces of new equipment. We also optimized the interior layout of the commanding helicopter and greatly improved its efficiency in search and command in the air. We are also using the most state-of-the-art off-road vehicles in command and dispatch, search and engineering transportation. According to the pre-return drills, what can we expect from the task? After the search and rescue personnel arrived at the site, we organized a series of training exercises like helicopter rescue, three air ground coordination drills, and three drills involving all working units. We are fully prepared for the search and rescue, and we are confident that we can fulfill our tasks and welcome our heroes home.